Hello everyone, I'm Captain Logan. I'm Eric. And it's time again for He Made Me Watch. This time, Eric and I uh, got real ambitious and we managed to get two of these knocked out. We haven't done this in a long time where we both are able to share a movie. Uh, this time... I, well, no, I did mine because it was complimentary. Yeah, sure. This was not my original pick, which would have been on the next omnibus, which I, is still going to be my next pick. It's just... I was like, there was something that was complimentary, and I was like, oh, it's Speed Racer. Yeah, and that's the thing I've wanted to see for a while because you said you actually liked it, and I've never seen, I've never talked to anybody else that actually liked that movie. So I was really curious about it, so I'm glad that we did that. Uh, my pick this time, I made Eric watch Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow, which is uh, a movie that I've always liked a lot and uh, didn't perform well, and I know a lot of science fiction fans don't care for it. I've never really understood why um, this was a real. Um, I mean, I want to say trendsetter. I guess not. You know what I mean? Um, but it, it was it's uh, hard to tell a how big technical achievement. It's hard to tell how influential how much it is. An influence it is, or if it was just we were moving that way, because this is real close to Sin City. Three and or two years before else. Sin City. Uh, one year before Sin City. I mean, they're, they're, they're being made practically the same then, time. Then they cannot Although, be influenced by... It since he cannot have been influenced by that. I wouldn't think so. Well, unless in, in unless they saw the short film. I mean, because that was made That's a long possible. time earlier. And also, this was in production for a long time. Mm. I forget. It's been a long time since I've watched special features on this. But um, it, like like the principal photography was shot well before the, the effects were done. I mean, like I think by at least a couple of years, maybe even longer. I mean, this was it, it took them forever to make this, and uh, they were really lucky it even came out um, because of how limited the budget was and uh, how few hands they were able to ha have on deck and um, it sounded like the working conditions uh, even for the the people that were uh, doing the uh, the effects were not the best I mean like it was just a real touch and go kind of project interesting but uh, yeah so Sky Captain is a if you don't know about this movie is a throwback to um, adventure serials but also cartoon serials from the 1930s and comics, uh, and comics mo most certainly yeah sure um, but obviously that stuff was already influenced by comics. Yeah, that's true. Also, that's but true. Um, but but yeah, like like but especially uh, you know visually and soundtrack and even uh, the way the movie is is, is written and enacted, it's it's trying to be um, a not a '50s serial, but an earlier serial than that even. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is this is like uh, somewhere in between World War One, World War Two era. Uh, this movie uh, uh, is specifically set in 1939, so uh, it would be around World War Two. But it's weird that uh, they refer to World War One as World War One because yeah. they wouldn't be calling it that yet. That seems like an oversight. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was kind of strange. But anyway, um, let's. Uh, that, that that's my setup for this. Uh, what, what? How, how did you feel about this? Um, I liked What do you think of Sky Captain? Uh, I liked it. Yeah. I think it's surprising how much you like this and you're not an Indiana Jones guy. Interesting, yeah. Because uh, it's very similar. It comes from the same material kind of thing. That's true, um, but to be fair, I uh, I kind of, especially first time I saw this, kind of started to lose interest when it went more to, the, to that place. It's kind of more the opening 20, 30 minutes That's that fair. I'm real into. It's um, a little long, it gets, or it feels a little long. Yeah, and it's not that long, but I think it drags. It does drag. Um... I also think the ending is a little lackluster. Yeah, me too. Um, first of all, it's the laziest crating peril I've ever seen. This guy wants to send this missile up with all these animals. Yeah. Okay, so why don't we just let him? Because once it leaves the atmosphere, Earth explodes. We never told why, how, like... I that, guess it's just that kind of missile. That just felt real, well, like... Well, one thing I... A, a difficulty I have with a thing like this is, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not paying that much attention to plot. Yeah. And that's not like... In, in story, that's not like me. It's it's all atmosphere. It's all technical stuff. Mm -hmm. um, the performance is mostly good. Uh, uh, Gwen Paltrow, I like at the beginning, and then she just stops acting. Not acting, but, like, she's doing a real heightened, like, I'm in the 40s kind of a thing. And very and quickly just it. stops, and she's yeah. just Gwyneth Paltrow, and that's disappointing. Uh, it looks like it looks like I enjoy sure there are ball in this. I'm, I'm sure there are behind the scenes reasons for that. Uh, and Jolie comes in real late; she's like at the beginning of the third act. And that that was that was one of the few things that I knew about this movie is I have a friend who was like, I would like 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 I don't know if he ends up liking this movie, or dislike this movie, but like his big issue is Angelina Jolie's all over the commercials. She's all over the the the, the, the box. She, was a big she doesn't name. show up until the third until the third act. Yeah, but they needed her to sell the movie, and then the movie still didn't sell that well. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
But yeah, no, it's funny because like, you know, you know I, I say I don't get why people like don't like this movie. I guess I kind of do. Like you know, we're immediately starting with negatives. Like I get if if, uh, if it's you not think this perfect. movie is a little is a little slow. I guess I guess I think that too. The thing is, I hate saying this. It was a remarkable achievement. I don't know if it holds up. That's the big thing that. Because I, I I hadn't watched this in quite a while. When I watched it with you, this was this was not my best viewing of this movie. It doesn't look great either. It's it's really impressive. For it the did time, then, yeah. But Sin City's right after it, and Sin City holds up much better than this. Yeah, that's true. Um, it and its sequel doesn't look that much different from it. It ten years feels later, like, like a really impressive student film, right? And that's, which is essentially what it and is. that's essentially what it is, right? Um, uh, but like I like it. It hits those kind of like pulp serial sensibilities that I have. Um. It's ridiculous that I haven't seen it. Like, I yeah, should have seen sure. this movie. Um, I, maybe it's a more interesting artifact than it is a watch, but I, I hate saying that because, like, cause like I said, I like, I like a lot of the performances. I think the sidekick is, is, is kind of the best performance in the movie, honestly. It's, it's got this thing where I think it's almost trying to do too many things that kind of gets lost in itself, and, like... You mean it, an issue to pick one thing it was homaging? Or... It's sh not necessarily, but it should have been a little bit more focused. I think it's weird that we don't that our our main character is Sky Captain, who's a pilot, and we don't have a dogfight sequence at the end of the movie. Yeah. That feels like a mistake. Yeah. Um, I also don't like that he is like the swear jawed hero, and in the third act, he gets saved, like left it, like he doesn't actually save the at the end of the movie, and that feels like a like almost like a farce, like a. Like going back and like the uh, like a Hong Kong Fu kind of a thing. Like he doesn't actually do it, except he does do everything until we get to the third act, and then like he just keeps getting saved. It's very strange that like up until that point, it feels like a complete he's, homage. He's fully confident. Yeah, and then and then not so much. And then he's a sham or something. Not a but I don't sham. Feel like it's saying that he is. No, not a sham. But like I don't know. It felt weird that like we got to the third act and like everything was done by everyone else, and almost like he didn't need to be there. I don't know. Um, I feel I feel like I'm going off negative. I'm not. I like it. Uh, I will watch it again probably. Um, I. But a lot of it's like atmosphere and stuff, right? They spoil you in the beginning. Yeah. You're never as good as the giant robot. I don't think uh, so either. Invasion when they just straight up do uh, the the Superman thing in live action, and a lot of that is animated, but it works. Yeah. Um, no, it looks I. Cool. It made me want more of the movie in the city. I think yes. part of the problem is it's weird because usually we praise things for being ambitious enough to be globetrotty if that's what the the uh, the the story calls for. I almost didn't want this to be globetrotty. I almost wanted all the action to come to him. I don't know yeah. why. Or it just needed to be more. We need to touch back with the say. I don't know. The the beginning of this movie is the best part of this movie. Not to say that the rest of it's not good. But like, the flying over the map scene always looks good. Mm -hmm. That whole thing is super fun. Uh, it's just. I don't know. There's what I always like the multimedia of this because uh, one thing it, it, it has that Sin City doesn't as much is uh, there's a lot of a lot of what they put on the green screen and especially when they do transitions in things are real things they photographed. You know, like it's not it's 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 not and, all animated. It's and, not all drawn. Yeah, and there are and there are things where I don't know what is matte painting, what is real interactive set, um, which yeah, is and, probably and a cool. very stylized set. It's probably designed to look like it could be part of the background, which is very smart. Um, but, like, I'm really surprised, like, Roger Ebert gave this a four. Because, um, like... Yeah, I wonder if he would have even three or four years after that. And, of course, Sin City has a four also for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Sin City er earns it more than this. I think so, too. This yeah. is this is a flawed but good film. Like, I... It feels a little long in the tooth. Not everything exactly adds up for me at the end of the day, but, like, I, I really enjoyed watching it. It's, um, like, there's lots of movies that are of this quality that, like, like The Rocketeer does, well, The Rocketeer is, is a lot better than I was going to say The Rocketeer isn't about as good. It's got a better script. Yeah. Um, I, 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 it's better than The Phantom. I think the best, yeah, I, I think the best thing about this movie is the blend of the, uh, of, of, of the, of the live action serial and the cartoon serial. It's cool mm -hmm. that we have, um, in live action, uh, a cartoon ray gun. Yeah. That, that actually shoots sound waves out of it. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, it was it was it's cool to see a lot of that stuff like literalized in a more modern setting. I would like to see like an actual big budget thing like this. Where like 
we just straight up do like the robots and the and yeah. the ray guns because like, we can do it now. Yeah, we can do it now. Um, I don't think this will. I don't think that'll ever happen. If, if it does, it'll be a flop. Uh, we have tried for three decades now to, to revive like the pulp thing for the mainstream. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, and like we did it with Sin City, but never again. Yeah. Well, well, I mean more than like pulp serial kind of a thing. Well, like, that, yeah, Sin City's that, noir. That noir is sure. never out you out said of vogue. Pulp. That's a different kind of pulp. Yeah, that's yeah. comic pulp. But yeah. yeah. Um, but but yeah, I, I I liked it. I didn't. It didn't blow me away. I was kind of expecting, like. I don't know what I was expecting. Well, it's weird. Like I said, I had a different experience than I did with it last time. And, it's, and just, it um, felt really weird that I, I was like, how, how did I not see this? How did I not know that this is what this movie was? I, I didn't have a sense that it was like a throwback-y thing exactly. Oh, really? Yeah. Even with that title? Because the title kind of screams it. Like, Yeah, no. Even with that, like I, I did not realize what exactly it was. And I, I'd always heard bad things about it, so I never bothered. Uh, but I didn't realize it was what it was. I would have watched this much earlier. Yeah. Well, let's talk about yours, Eric. Sure. Uh, we watched Speed Racer. I made you watch Speed Racer. Yeah, you sure did. Which is a movie that, when it came out, everyone said was the worst thing ever made. And so I stayed away with it, stayed, stayed away from it for years. And then finally watched it, and I was like, oh, I, I really like this movie. That's funny. Um, now, and, did you feel different about it, watching it again? It does all? not look good big. No. Um... But here's the thing, and this is this is gonna sound dumb. I don't watch this for the race scenes. Sure. No, no, no. I understand that. Um, like th that should that should sound dumb. And like there were, there is some there is some cool. But a lot of that looks like it's on a PS2. But then what makes it worse is that it's inconsistent. Because sometimes it looks, where it looks, it looks better than that. Yeah. Or like it's better than that. Yeah. Um. You yeah, know, I didn't really have a different viewing. It's, it's. I think it's too ambitious as far as the visuals go. I just don't think is. we were there yet. No I, no, I agree. I don't know what kind of a budget they had. Maybe that could have been achieved better at the time. That was, what, 08? Yeah, it's 2008. Um, that's that's a decade ago now. Um, I feel like that's a lot of that's easier to do now. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, you look at what Pixar was doing then, and it's like they could have made that stuff look more Yeah, but they also didn't have to actors there. or build sets. Or, you know, it's all digital. No, I get that. I'm just saying that the technology was there. Yeah. I don't At think it looks the PS2 technology graphics. was more there. There are places where it absolutely does. Okay. Sorry, I stand by that. Because you said that really early on. I was like, I don't think it looks PS2 bad. Yeah, I could show you some side by sides. Okay. I stand by that. Um, also, the uh, we'll, we'll get into story stuff and things, um, but just just while we're on effects, uh, just the it's. I think the approach was wrong as far as making it an almost fully green screen movie. That was a mistake with this. Uh, no, they, it was. They, they should have built more. Um, it, it should have been more of a, a Dick Tracy kind of thing. No, no, I I, I agree with that completely. Um, they, sh they, that, they I, it they was have. distracting and it took me out. Like I, I like how heightened it is. I like how uh, unrealistic it is. Um, this is not a movie where I needed dates and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was also kind of a mistake. Yeah, but it does at least self contain it. Like we yeah, don't we don't reference fair. any real world things. Um, uh, there were a couple that I noticed. I forget what they are now. Are there? Okay. I thought there was. I don't know. I'm, okay. I, I might be right. But I, I, I remember thinking, I, I should have written it down. I remember thinking, um, oh, yeah, I wouldn't have referenced anything real world, but maybe I'm wrong about that. There is something that we reference, because you, you say that while we're watching. You're like, I don't know if I would have referenced something real world. Which you also said in Skycap when they went yeah. to the Buck Rogers comic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure about that. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's it's weird because we see footage of like old races and like it's the forties, yeah. But I don't know what how how like I don't know if this is like a super futuristic today when well, it comes out. It would it would have to be because I'm like wow we really we really advanced in this world. Well, it seems like there are people alive that remember people from that period. So yeah, and one of them's alive. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because cause he, he, he meets like he meets the guy. Uh, okay, so unless they're the racing 150 years, then... Yeah, no, that's... Yeah, we we advanced a lot technologically in this world. Uh, it, it is... I am baffled by why people hated it. Um, and, and, like, acted like it was unwatchable. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I... It's it's real it's real flawed in structure. Uh... But we'll talk about that. But like, like story wise, um, I think it's borderline compelling, and uh, I, I, uh, I really like what it's saying about business 
and I felt like it could have gotten really cynical, and mm-hmm. I, I sort of expected the Wachowskis to go to a more cynical place with it. Mm-hmm. Um, but but you know, it's it's about um, it's about sports and corruption in sports, and uh, you know, big companies. Uh, it, like, controlling everything and making people it's kind of like the boxing thing you know making people throw races and um and and already predetermining who's going to win and all of that and make, making people think that it's a real competitive sport but it's actually uh, uh just all a, a, a well-oiled machine in order to make people money um and then uh there's this there's this optimistic kind of uplifting uh message at the end where it's like but individuals can still transcend that like no matter how bad that is mm-hmm. we can we can take it over just by doing it the way it's supposed to be done and i liked that a lot mm-hmm. and um and, and i and i also you know really liked the uh what, what it what it had to say about family and uh you know what people are willing to do um I, you, you know you know for their kids uh I think John Goodman. John Goodman kills it. I think the dad character is the most three-dimensional character in the movie, and m- confuses me because I thought it was a cartoon with about archetypes, but then that guy is he's a legit very character. Tradi- he's a very traditional character, and uh, learns and grows and is still flawed, but knows his flaws. And I don't see how he's a cartoon character, even though he lives in that world and. Uh, and and lives in that world the way everyone does, so he acts like a cartoon character, but he's one one with dimension, you know. Um, no, he's phenomenal. Yeah, no, he's he's really good. Uh, the, the 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 scene when he when he talks to Speed, where he's where he's like he's like, uh, where he's talking about how uh, he kicked out his brother, and he's like he's he's because he tells his brother in the flashback like if you walk out the door, you can never come back here. Like he has this whole speech. He gets this moment where he's, he's like, if you walk out the door, that door is always open for you, and like. It's yeah. legitimately well, emotional. And I love how vulnerable he is. And, I, and, and like, I was won over on his decision to uh, let Speed decide if they're going to get in bed with a big corporation. Uh, because at first I'm like, well, well, this is not just you letting Speed decide what he's going to do, or even just... Uh, you know your family getting involved in a thing. That's your th- that that's that's your own um, like like uh, uh, job and livelihood and legacy that you're going to be throwing away because your your uh, your business because you know you know he he makes cars. His business is going to get folded in, and uh, he's willing to let Speed do that because he's compensating because he doesn't want to lose another son. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's it's not the right move, but I totally sympathized and and got why he went there. Mike kind of, you know, threw his hands in the air. Um, the, Jack from Lost is Racer X is awesome. He's great. You, you and you can't picture it until you see it. But he's just like he's just like he's his perfect. head is the perfect shape. Yeah, and it's it's the exact right kind of melodrama. That's the thing is the whole movie's a melodrama except for John Goodman. Yeah, it's it's all like Mostly. a real heightened cartoon world except John Goodman could be in a real in a, in a different movie. Yeah. And it has some, you know, real social commentary that's not just satire. Mm-hmm. Well, the for me when I when I watched this movie, the the moment when this movie like grabbed me and I was like, okay, I'm I'm invested in this now. Is the scene where Speed comes and talks to the bad guy and he tells his story about yeah uh, about uh, being moved by by this race from like years ago. Him and his dad watched this watched this race from years ago and like he has the shattering disillusionment when it and, turns out that it was a fixed race. And yeah, and and the 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 CEO, the bad guy, is just like he's just like racing's not about cars or drivers. Like it's just it's such a good scene. Um, and it really like grabbed me when I when I first saw it. And this time I, I had thought I had a thought that I hadn't thought before this. Yeah, uh, which is how much of Hollywood is in this movie. How much? How much are the Wachowskis drawing from things that they have dealt with working in Hollywood? Yeah, it's really interesting. Because I wouldn't be surprised if it's like it's not about storytelling. It's not about you know you know it's, it's never about the thing it's actually about. We're just making widgets and making money. Like, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if like Harvey Weinstein uh, like had them in a room and had a similar speech to them. Yeah. Um, that that did seem like they were speaking from experience, but I could see why somebody would watch this movie and say, "Yeah, but that's the problem with it is that it's it's self indulgent and it's trying too hard to be to to change hearts and minds, you know, about something like 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 this is not the kind of movie that should have that that sort of social commentary." I could see that. Um, it's it's also pretty entertaining. Um, it's too long. Yeah, yeah, it is too long. I mean, like, I like how far it allows itself to go in the cartoony speed racer stuff. Mm-hmm. 
Um, because it's just really goofy and out there. Uh, but there's the, a ninja at one point. Yeah, what well, ninja? The structure is awful. It's all over the place. Um, like like, why is it so non-linear and so convoluted? Uh, toward the beginning, it's ridiculous. Uh, I, I, I think to them, I don't know this for sure. I don't even know if there's commentary on special features, but um, I think to them. We, we, they want to keep see, it we feeling two, fast. We have, a, we have a flashback inside a flashback where, where you have like two races happening almost simultaneously. But we're also still flashing back before that. I needed you that. to explain to me why there was a car that went through another car where you're like, well, no, see, like, like that's that speed going through his brother's car because his brother is gone now and he raced the same race. And I like, I did not get that yet. It took like. And all of that is, I think that's all still flashback. I don't think we're in present. No, we no, see no, either no, of those. No, 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 we, we are in present. The, the race that Speed is racing is present day. Is it? Yes. Okay, but I thought we also had him talking about it after the fact in the same montage, but I might be wrong about that. No, I think that. that's, that's, a, that's, a different race, that's a different race later. Uh, it's, 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 see my point here, though? It's when he goes to the bad guy, and the bad guy's like, here's what's going to happen. You're going to race, and you're going to lose, and then you're going to get sued. Oh, yeah. And you're going to get back. And That's right. he says all this, and then we flash, and then we flash back, and then, yeah. Uh, I think they do that because they think it makes it feel like a quick-cut cartoon. I think they're trying to make... did that kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's why they do it. Um... It's not the best choice, and I could see people very quickly checking out of this movie. Well, the thing is, it went on, and part of it was just it went on too long. You I know, thought like, the is this whole the whole movie, movie was, was just like one that? race, and we're just cutting around and, his life? And then there are places where it goes back to that kind of thing, but it's never as intrusive, and it never lasts as long. Mm -hmm. I did not need so much dialogue from race announcers. Way too much of that. Some of it's funny, some of it is really unnecessary exposition, mm -hmm. and the problem is, again, that show was kind of like that. Like, I get that. This is not an easy thing to realize, mm -hmm. um, and so there's a lot of things that, that, that it would be easy to just, you know, um, to dismiss, saying, well, that's what the TV show was like, so, like, you're, you're gay. And, and I think some people didn't like it just because of... Um, just because they didn't know that show, and that that is what that show is like. You I kind of it, have to have a sense of what that show is. I, to watch this I movie. think you do, yeah. And so, and so, I give it some of that, but I feel like sometimes it's using some of that stuff as a crutch too. And a lot of it's just like you said, it's too long and it's not paced right. We, we should cut all of all of the crime stuff. If this is about business, it should be about business and and and, and criminal business. It, and I checked out a lot during some of that. Yeah, stuff. whenever we cut to the crime bosses and all of that stuff, it really they feels like that. the Matrix philosophy, where it's just like, yes. I know you're saying things, but like I don't really know what's happening. Yeah, bad guy <laughs> trying to get speed. Got it. No, it should be much shorter. I mean, you could say about pretty much every Wachowski movie, though. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's not Jupiter Ascending or anything, uh, which I've still not seen. But uh, yeah. It's, I'm, uh, Cloud Atlas. I'm glad I saw it. I'm I'm uh, I'm not with people that think it's the worst thing ever. Um, real kind of lukewarm sign flip for me on this. I guess I'm somewhere in the middle. That's kind of where I was. I didn't put a sign. I'm, I'm kind of there. This I yeah. think. Um, Although I think I like that a little bit more than you like this. I don't know. Yeah, I think so too. I don't know that it, it that, that it needed to be like Hot Wheels tracks. No, that's weird. And, and and again, too ambitious if they couldn't make it look better. Because you could have done more normal looking tracks. And, that's, and, that, and that is not what that show looked like. No. Like, that's uh, all them, they come up with that. I mean, I don't know if all the race courses in that show were just in a circle. I don't think they're in a circle, but I think they're like cross country. Like, like, like I know sometimes it's like on the side of a mountain. Like, oh, yeah, of course, right. It's just been a while. Yeah. But, it's, but it's not like this. Like, I'm sure there were jumps and things, but like, not like this. Yeah. Which. Late, which goes to this 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 like stupid kind of funny thing where like there's a point where we do a scene that I've seen a hundred times. Character's really angry. They go out to a driving course to drive. Yeah. Normally you're driving a circle and just like ah. In this movie you're doing loops. It's the most and dangerous flips. thing ever. This that's is not, a really bad that's idea. The wrong emotional state to be driving on these tracks. Uh, I I really like the mountain with the face in it. Yep, the, like, that, Hell Cave thing. That was great. Brother, yeah. Yeah. So a lot of those courses were really cool looking. And I like... As a course, it just wasn't integrated well with the live action. And I like when we do the, um, the, the, the race in the middle. The one that's, like, the no-holds-barred one. That's what the whole movie should have been. Yeah. Where it's almost like Carfu. 
like the cars are fighting and like there's all these these like uh, people that were just hired just to, like attack speed and like it's that's the most fun race in the movie because it's not just kind of cars driving on these crazy. You tracks. know, I think I I think I've landed on why uh, the animation kind of uh, bugged me a lot. It's because I don't think a live action cartoon should look like a cartoon. You're, like you're, like if it's live action. Sure. Sure. It's weird that your that, that your uh, uh, cartoon that you adapted into a into live action cheats and is some and is sometimes very cartoony. Yeah, yeah. It kind of feels like pod racing, right? Yeah. Certainly. I don't hate the pod racing. It just goes on too long. If you want a whole movie of pod racing, like this is your movie. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> sure. I mean, that looked better, but it did. It did. Uh, well, that's going to do it for He Made Me Watch. Those are two movies that we made each other watch, and uh, I guess it'll be my turn again next time. Yeah. Do you, even, um, do you even know what you're doing? Well, I'm not going to do the thing I was going to do next, because it's too close to these things. Oh, so really? So something different? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, but uh, I've, got a, I've got a short list. I've got a couple things I'm thinking of that I can easily get my hands on, so. Nice. Yeah. So anyway, uh, well, folks, we've got some more omnibus left to do. We're coming down to the wire now, uh, but our next segment is gonna be uh the guitar pick so uh we're gonna talk about hamilton um which was requested for the show this week and i'm also gonna talk a little bit about the uh current weird al tour which i got to see last week and really excited to chat about that a little bit so i uh, keep going with us if you want to hear us talk about music for a little bit and a little bit later in the show we'll talk uh, news and we'll answer some of your questions all that and more coming right up and we'll see you in just a little bit <laughs> 